the best part was, you know, you take a year off school um, and you just put your heart and soul into one thing. You know, you have one moment there to make the Olympic team. Um, and then, you know, in Indianapolis, I was fortunate enough to, you know, win the Olympic trials. And that experience, you know, was just overwhelming. It was just great to, you know, be able to have that with your family and your friends and know all that hard work paid off. And then after that, they they whisk you away, they take you, and they just pamper you, and you get back to training. And, you know, they flew us over to Sydney, and, you know, we were rock stars over there because swimming is pretty much their, their biggest sport. Um, and, they, you know, they all knew our names and things like that. And then when you see the big venue, and you know, you're know you really not used to seeing, um, you know, 10, 17,000 people uh, watching you swim. Um, so it was just neat to take all that in and then, you know, to be able to compete in the finals was a you know, great experience, um, you know, and ended up sixth place. So something I, that, I, you know, I'll never forget and I'll have with me forever. Yeah, that was some of the best parts because we all got to meet up in this thing called the AT&T Center, which was where all the Olympic families, the American Olympic families could go. So you'd go there and you'd see, you know, everyone's parents and they'd be having a good time. You know, it's, you know, all you can drink, all you can eat. And, um, you know, seeing my brother and my sister, um, they looked like they were having a much better time than I, than I was just seeing the sights and just taking it all in. It seemed like they had a really good experience. And, um, you know, it's just something I'll never, ever forget. I mean, I'm watching it. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm really into it. You know, it's just I still have some people that I swam with. I mean, I swam with Lochte on the uh, Pan Am Games uh, in 2003. You know, I swam with Phelps. Um, you know, in, in 2000, he was only 15 at the time, but um, yeah, it's it's nice to see those guys are still swimming. You know, Brendan Hansen, he's a Pennsylvania guy, so I still have a lot of people that I follow and, and cheer for, um, and it's just um, you know it's just great to watch. It does bring back a lot of good memories, so it's it's fun to watch. Even though I, I did find out today what happened at finals, so it's going to be a little disappointing, but um, I'll still watch it either way. So.